Hi, I'm Molly with Robert and Molly Bees. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Here I'm going over a dresser that I refinished that I got off of Facebook Marketplace. I had pulled the drawers out and stripped them with citrus strip and here I am sanding them in the driveway. Then I took some white lightning from Dixie Bell and really cleaned the piece inside and out uh, to make sure that I got all the nastiness. Here I've used wood conditioner and I'm staining it with red chestnut by Minwax. Uh, I put two coats of stain on there. This is me putting the first layer of paint on. I'm using Carnival Red on the trim and then, oh excuse me, I'm using DIY paint. It's really awesome clay based paint. And I'm using Carnival Red on the trim and then I use Firestarter and Liquid Sunshine on the insets there. And this is just the first layer, so it doesn't even have to be pretty. Um, here I'm going in with some blue iris on the trim at the top. And then I've got bohemian blue on the bottom. And it comes up to blue iris, mermaid tail, and apothecary. Uh, I really wasn't 100% sure what I was doing at this point with this piece, but I like these colors, so I decided I would go ahead and give it a shot. Um, DIY paint is water reactive, and uh, you put it on, and once it dries, you can come back with water and reactivate it. So the base layer of paint is really there in case anything peeks through for me on this particular piece. Uh, eventually I go back and put another layer of all of the blues on and then really soak it and let it drip and you'll be able to see that here in a few minutes. Um, I really like DIY paint. It is super easy to work with. It sands easily and then once you're all done you just use wax over it. You can use their big top. I have not, not used that yet but uh, apparently it gives it more of a shiny finish. I tend to like the matte finishes. So this is me putting on that layer that I'm going to end up really getting wet and letting it drip down. Uh, I'm working in my garage right now. I don't have a studio and there's no way my husband would let me do this in the house. Not because it smells. DIY paint has no VOCs, uh, but it's just a mess and I make a mess so I don't mind being in the garage. Here I am. You can see the, the top bit of paint kind of dripping down. It makes a really pretty effect with the with the colors and it kind of blends it together and then it blends together too more when you wax it. Debbie Beard with DIY Go Go in San Diego made DIY paint and I just love it. And she's awesome. She's really cute. You should check out her YouTube channel. Okay now um, next I am going I've let it dry overnight so then I come back with DIY clear wax and the color changes once it dries. It gets really pale. DIY paint gets really pale. And then you come back with the wax and it gets super deep. And then you have to let the wax dry for 24 hours. And then you come back and buff it out. And I have done that at this point, but I had to flip the piece over so that I could paint the feet. And here I'm putting on some mandala stencils and I'm using Golden Ticket, actually, which is another DIY product. I thought about using gilding wax, but I knew I wanted it to dry quicker. And uh, Golden Ticket's really easy to work with. So I've got the piece upside down and I'm putting this stencil on and filling in the lines. Now I've got it on its side and I've got a smaller mandala stencil that I'm putting on one of the top panels. And then here is the sides of the drawers, and I'm using Dixie Belle's Gold Gilding Wax. And I am putting on just some small stencils. I really like to do something to the sides of my drawers, but because I had already stenciled all over the whole piece, I didn't want to go crazy on the sides of the drawers, so I just put a little something something on the side there, because I think it's cute. These are the handles. They were all silver, and I primed them with bullseye and then painted them with the corresponding colors on where they would go on the dresser and then I did wax them and then I used some gold gilding wax just to put some texture on them. I think they look good. And that's it. It's all finished. It's a little simple from the front but 
fancy on the side. I think it's really pretty. I think it turned out really nice. If you like what you see, share, like, comment. Let me know what you think. I really enjoyed doing this one. Thanks so much.